If you're a teenage young lady and you look at pictures on Instagram or on Pinterest or any place else, you need to watch this video. And if you're an adult and you know a teenage young lady who has access to the internet, you need to sit down and watch this video with them. I'm Bill Snodgrass and in this video I want to I want to present an idea about the images and the, the of, of models and things that are seen on the internet um, and, and to do so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a segment out of a longer tutorial video and, and just kind of editorialize on that a little bit to get to the story quickly there was a, a, a day in class when some students were looking at Instagram and I commented to one of my students that she resembled a, a model on a, an Instagram model and she said no no I, I don't look like that and I said, well, the truth of the matter is, the model doesn't look like that either. And so, and so that led to this tutorial video where I use Photoshop to uh, manipulate a picture. Her name's Lily. I have written permission to use her in videos like this. And um, so that's, that's what this, this, uh, this clip that I'm about to follow this introduction is from that tutorial video. When after having used the editorial tools, the, the image that, that was, I started with and the image that resulted are so dissimilar that it is remarkable and noteworthy. And so that's kind of the first point of this video it is, is the portraits are, are simply physical representations of the person and they are not the person and, and a person's value is is far greater than what a person looks like so that, that's kind of the first point and that's kind of a, a subtle side point I'm gonna try to get the color the the depth of the color we're gonna try to get, try to uh, accomplish some some changes there I always kind of like to drop the blacks drop the shadows a little bit so we have we have a picture of Lily that which is some basic photoshopping um, you know, it proves her to be a, a very, a very, very attractive young lady. Very pretty. The first thing Portrait Pro does is it attempts to identify faces in, in the picture. So, Portrait Pro has just decided to throw the default filter on here, and you, you can already see that with no clicks. It has done a fantastic job of transforming um, Lily from a very pretty young lady to what Portrait Pro considers a prettier young lady. You can also uh, enhance shadow. So the shadow on her face is on this side, which they're going to call that the left, even though it's her right. I can enhance the shadow on her face. And then this side, I can kick this. They call this the kick. And so that would be the right side of the picture. So I can, I can bring that up and then I can, I'm going to tweak this a little bit more. And now we have gone from this to that, whatever that is, this to that. And suddenly I'm no longer editing Lily. I'm now editing a set of pixels that began with Lily and now they are someone else. This. There, this is you know not even the same person so now a comment to all the lilies out there who are comparing themselves to the photoshopped pictures on Instagram and in the magazines need I even say there, there is this is not a real person anymore I can continue on the the amount of things that can be changed to the whim of an editor and suddenly you know what where did this picture even come from it, it really literally gets to that point that we don't we don't have anything that resembles what we started with. No one looks like this. This is a creation of pixel manipulation 
that started with a set of pixels that was Lily and ended up with a set of pixels that wasn't anyone. When you compare yourself to what you're seeing out there, I have another video on why people feel like they're failures in life. They feel like they're failures in life because they're comparing themselves to these Photoshop, photo manipulated images that you see on Instagram. And I end with a story. So, a um, good friend of mine from, from growing up, and we were business partners at one time, he wrote this. A few years ago, I read about something from a Victoria's Secret model who said that she could not even live up to the images of herself. Her everyday self couldn't live up to the images of herself. She acknowledged the fact that these photo manipulations are, are so powerful that she as a real person couldn't even live up to the images of herself. So somewhere in here, we lost Lily. Somewhere in this process, and we end up with some Frankenstein set of pixels that the computer has created. Photographers, you have got to think about this before you deliver a picture to your client that says, this is what you should look like. Too bad you don't look like this. And as a consumer, you need to always be thinking, no one actually looks like that. No, no one looks like that. Where do you stop in the editorial process? At what point? It's an almost an ethical decision that as photographers and as photo editors, what message are we sending to the world? So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, share this with someone, share this with lots of people who need to understand that no one really looks like those, those images that are so glamorized and photoshopped. Um, no one really looks like that. Uh, no one looks like that. And, and, and anyone can look glamorous if you spend enough time photoshopping them. Um, share this video with someone and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the next video.